Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Dave Cooper. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday morning and you have your, your coffee. Today, I'm actually drinking out of the AmeriCal Division, uh, Infantry Division from World War II. This was my grandfather's coffee mug. So that's what we're doing this morning. It's the 50th anniversary uh, to the Battle of Guadalcanal, right? That's where my grandfather was. So, all right, with that said, we had a busy week this week. In fact, we had so much fun this week, cold but fun this week, in the Hudson Valley of New York. We were streaming live on location with Unity Homes in Bensonwood Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, you know, Tuesday was tough, man. It was just pouring down rain and snow and hail, and then it just stopped right at 10 o'clock. So we were a little late getting started just because all this audio equipment, you can't put it out there. Uh, in fact, I've added a couple new things to the studio here. As you can see right from this, you get a whole different view of this angle of what we have going on. So it's kind of fun. We're working on different things to bring you all the latest and greatest and uh, make it a little more interactive and fun as we move things along. So, whew. All right. Where you, where you, where's everybody at this morning? I see Greg is here already. Good morning, Greg. Good to see you. Always tuning in on Saturday. Uh, I really appreciate you and everything you do. Uh, so that is awesome. If you are just joining us, please hit that like and share button right now because it does help us grow our YouTube channel and everything that we are doing. Uh, so please, please, please uh, do that for us and, and join us in this conversation because the conversation is huge. That's how we're going to keep growing our business. That's how we're going to keep moving things forward. This is the way things go. So with that said, at Dave Cooper Live, we are bringing you the people in the processes that are building it better. Our guests include experts in building systems to building science, building codes to the tech used to build it better. And uh, this upcoming week's really not going to be any different than that otherwise, other than it's going to be a little bit of a slow week on some fronts because we are packing up and moving this week. So we're trying to keep the schedule a little bit open on everything that we do uh, just to make that a little simpler for us. However, we may have Eric Holtz on from the University of Denver Monday. So we are looking forward to that. And then also Thursday, Kristen, Kristen Sarwasnik, I can't say that name. I feel tongue-tied this morning. Anybody else tongue-tied this morning? Uh, is also uh, looking to potentially join us here. Uh, and then we're going to have Corbett on BS Friday, this Friday with Mark Bear Naked Willie, which is going to be a lot of fun. But before we talk further in that, let's finish talking about this past week. We kicked it off with Greg Ugaldi, the immediate past chairman of the National Association of Home Builders. And believe you me, he is still taking a trip around the world with the National Association of Home Builders right now and putting in all the good effort and fighting the good fight for all of us builders out here that are trying to do it better and do it differently. So that's how we started off our Monday. And then guess what? Tuesday, we had three shows. We had three shows on Tuesday, which was absolutely awesome. With the third show on Tuesday, uh, we were live at it was like 11 ish with the rain on uh, with Benson Wood and Unity Homes at around 11 a.m. And then again on at one o'clock, we were live building modular with Jennifer from the field, just having a conversation of what is happening and, and you know, contingency plans, how important contingency plans were. And boy, were they important on Tuesday. And then again at uh, what time was it? Three o'clock. On Tuesday, we were live again, showcasing more of the Unity Homes Benson Wood house set, which was super, super cool. So I got to tell you, if you haven't seen a Unity Homes and a Benson Wood house set, you should definitely check it out. Now, with that said, Wednesday was a big day because I learned something on Wednesday that I did not know. Uh, outside of our Unity Homes Benson Wood set live feed at 10 a.m., we also had our scheduled 1 p.m. session, and guess who we had on? Steve McFall from MyTech. Now, I don't think a lot of people realize what MyTech does and what MyTech is all about, but they are not just a metal provider. They are not just another Simpson strong tie. They are actually, actually bringing in services and panelizations. Greg, I saw your comment. I'm going to get to that. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I'm winging it on my paper here this morning. They absolutely 
are doing more than just providing metal products to help us do hold downs and tie downs and all that. They are solutions provider. They are working with builders and engineers globally, uh, developers coming up with new systems and processes to help us be better. Uh, they have a trust design component to them. And it's not just metal, it's also wood-based as well. So with that said, if you haven't seen Wednesday's show, you should definitely check it out. Uh, Steve McFall was absolutely brilliant in his presentation and everything that he offers. So Greg did correct me on something. Greg, thank you so much. A little early here with all the moving. So we also had John McGeary's on from IBS X. Now, if you haven't seen this show with, with Greg and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Greg and John this past Monday, you should check it out because we do dive deep into what is happening at the International Builders Show this year, which is virtual. And there is a ton happening. And I think it's super important for people to check it out. Make sure you are registered. Make sure you are there to join. Um, so thank you for that, Greg. My my oversight. Uh Man, I got a lot going on. So, all right, here we go. So we're continuing on. My tech was Wednesday. And then Thursday on increasing influence with my good friend and co-host, Miles Biggs, Biggs Idea, we had Spencer Powell on from Builder Funnel. Spencer Powell from Builder Funnel. Now get this. His family has been in the building industry for a long time. They've been in the remodeling industry for a long time. Spencer decided that he was going to start a marketing firm that helps builders, not only for to help builders, but they were using it for themselves and it works. So if you don't know Spencer Powell from Builder Funnel, you definitely want to check it out. It is a great, great episode. And we get into what is a Builder Funnel? Do you even know what a Builder Funnel is? So that's what we were doing on Thursday with Miles Biggs, Biggs Idea. And then guess what? Guess what? Friday we had a very, very uh, well-known architect in the green passive lead certified space, Doug Farr. Now, this was an amazing conversation and this was a long stream. We ended up going, uh, I think an hour and 20 minutes on their presentation in the buildings that they're doing and the buildings that they have done years and years ago are still pertinent to today still pertinent to this very day. And I think that's what's uh, super, super neat about this because if you go to a building that's 10, 15 years old and it is still relevant today, that means that building was ahead of its time, right? That means that building was is still to this day ahead of its time, which is a huge deal. So that's what we had last week. Can you guys believe it? It's already been a week. And I know I'm a little all over the place today. we got a lot going on, trying to have a good day. And of course, it's raining. Every time you move, it rains, right? Why can't it be a beautiful, sunny day here in Connecticut? Greg, maybe you can call in the weatherman and see if they can change the forecast for us today. All right, let's see. we got some comments. Let's put them up here and see what's going on. Hey, and I added a new live streaming location today, but a lot of people don't know about it. But we are now trying Twitch out. So if you haven't been to Twitch, go check Twitch out. You want to learn some cool things? Twitch is a really popular live streaming platform with young people. Okay, Dave, why stream with young people? Why put it out there? This is where all the gamers are. This is where all the uh, thought process happens on uh, uh, you know, the future of gaming, virtual reality, augmented reality, all the different things that that we're seeing today, but you know, maybe us older folks don't understand. Well, I decided to go on Twitch for this reason alone. We need young people in this industry. And I'm hoping that this is a way for us to reach out to more young people that are super talented, super smart in the building space. And when I say building, they are building virtual worlds like you would never imagine. If you have not seen some of these virtual games that they play, uh, it is so realistic that it'll blow your mind. And we should be using that in our built environment today. So we are now going to be streaming live on Twitch along with YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So that is big, big news for us. 
we'll see what kind of comments, maybe some reactions. Hopefully some people will join us from Twitch. Hopefully some people will comment from Twitch, but we're going to try and tap into that audience and see if we can bring them into our world because construction is changing and it is becoming cool and it is becoming fun and it's becoming in interactive and we are doing things that they would love. 3D printing. Come on, we're going to 3D print on the moon here one day. Now that's cool, right? At least it's cool to me. All right, everybody. Listen, I know this is going to be a short little update this morning. I'm not getting into a whole lot of stuff, but that's what we are doing. Hey, what's happening? Ada Sujan. Good to see you. Hope all is well. Thank you for tuning in, tuning in. Greg says, I look out the window of my home study, huge one inch snowflakes like a movie. Is it snowing? I'm not seeing snow where I'm at. I'd rather see snow than the rain for sure. That's really cool. You know, Greg, you shared with us, uh, I don't know, a couple episodes ago, your driveway with all the snow and how much fell and how beautiful it was. That was absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, I see Jennifer's putting a bunch of stuff in the comments here. This BS Friday with Mark Build, Mark Build, Mark Bare Naked Willie. Uh, we're gonna have Grace and Corbett Lunsford on, so make sure to join us. Grace and Corbett, if you do not know them, have been traveling the country in a tiny house, living in it. In fact, they even had a baby while doing this on the road show. They have their own TV show talking about codes, talking about building better. Awesome. It's going to be an awesome show this Friday with them. They really bring a lot to the table. You know what? Hey, and listen, I think it's uh, I can learn a lot from them because guess what? We have a road show getting ready to start. And that, my friends, is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to travel this country. We are going to bring you innovation. We are going to go to manufacturers. We're going to talk about DFMA and all these other wonderful things that our audience is now talking about. And when I say audience, our industry is now talking about. But we're not going to talk about it. We're going to show it to you. We're going to bring you the people in the processes, just like we say in our intro on Dave Cooper Live, that are building it better. And we're going to do this on the road. So therefore, the house is going, the big RV is coming in, and we're hitting the road, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. We're going to be doing it with universities. We're going to be doing it with manufacturers. And we are going to go for as long and as far as we possibly can to have a lot of fun. All right. So with that said, Jennifer, thank you for putting that up there. Uh, Jennifer also wrote, thank you, Greg and John McCreary on a first look at IBSX. What to expect, what to plan for, learn more. Guess what? Jennifer, thank you because I am so ill and ill unprepared for this morning. However, we talked about John about we're going to have him back on before IBSX. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to give you a firsthand run through on how it is going to look and feel. So looking forward to following up on that conversation with John. And we're going to bring this to you so everybody can get a good interactive idea. So when IBS opens up, bam, you're in. And also, guess what? Here's the other thing. Here is the other thing. IBS X isn't just three or four days like it used to be when we were in Vegas. Now it's going to be available to everybody for a few weeks out, which is going to be spectacular. And we're looking forward to that as well. So, hey, listen to that. We got good old Sean McStay joining us. Good morning, all. If you are looking for another learning opportunity, the Passive House Canada Annual Conference is live next week, virtually with some solid speakers. Next time it is in person, we will have to get Dave up here. Hey, listen, I love going to Canada, especially playing hockey up there. Hey, and Sean, what do you think? I'm doing these two camera angles today. You like it? Is it making it better? I'm trying to be better. Maybe an inside look behind the scenes. I don't even know what camera I'm looking at anymore. Uh, but we're working on some new things and some new technology because I don't want people to get bored. I want people to stay active. I want people to join this conversation. And I want everybody to help us grow what we are doing. All right. One more post up and we're going to we're gonna call it a day. Doug Farr. Lead AP, leading architect and author of sustainable urbanism, urban design with nature and sustainable nation. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this was a great show this past Friday. All the shows were. We start off with Greg Ugaldi, right? And John McCary talking about IBS, talking about the state of the industry. Uh, Greg, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the import tariffs for lumber per Greg Ugaldi has dropped from 20% back down to 9%. So, Greg, does that mean that we're going to see a 
decrease in the cost of lumber or is the lumber yards going to keep their numbers up there just because they can? That's the question I have. But they should be dropping it if the tariff drops, hopefully. And hopefully that's going to make it a lot easier for all of the people that are out there that are trying to build affordable homes for people, right? Uh, we cannot afford to build them with 20% lumber uh, tariffs, unfortunately. So with that said, hopefully this makes a big difference on it. So we're looking forward to that as well. Wow. There's a lot, lot, lot coming up. All right, everybody. So we do have a ton coming up. Oh, Tuesday the 15th too. Bob Bender from the Commodore Corporation is going to be on our show. So if you don't know Bob, or maybe you do know Bob, you definitely want to put that on your calendar. We're going to start getting scheduled out once we get things settled down uh, here in the office and, and everywhere else. Uh, we're going to get even more and more organized with everything we're doing. We are interviewing so many people all the time to be on the show. It is every single day trying to bring you new and exciting people. So if you out there know of anybody that would like to be on the show that is doing something innovative and is showcasing different things than what we're normally used to in this industry, we want to know about them. So please let us know. All right, everybody, listen. Oh, Greg, Ta -ta. correct. Cost decrease after Commerce Department announcement right after our show. Perfect, Greg. I appreciate you and I appreciate the uh, the insight on that. It's hard to keep up with everything and that's what you guys do. That's what's so great about the NAHB. An information highway. All right, so if anybody currently is in Connecticut and you would like to help us pack, feel free, give us a call. I have beer, I got bourbon, I got whiskey, I got water, I got soda, we can get pizza, we can do whatever you want. So if you're in the mood to do something other than sit in your house, get a little exercise, hey, look us up, we're ready to go. All right, everybody. That's it for today. So I really do appreciate everybody tuning in today. We're going to have a, hopefully a good week this week. It will be a little bit light just because uh, we're going to be in transition all week. Uh, but we are still going to be live Monday through Saturday all week. So remember, we are bringing you the people and the processes that are building it better. Our guests include building systems, building science, building codes to the tech used to build it better. And we are bringing you the people that do this every single day. I appreciate each and every one of you out there that are sitting and watching this this morning and joining us uh, on all of our events. You guys are awesome and what makes us want to keep doing this every single day. So with that said, I am signing off. I got to go grab some packing tape. We are out of here. I'm Dave Cooper. We'll see you on Monday. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye now.